brace yourselves, because as the seasons turn, U.S. households are set to see their energy bills get extraordinarily expensive. For the first time in nearly five decades, the entire Western world is preparing for widespread and rolling energy shortages during the winter, and things are getting particularly alarming in the United States, where energy reserves have dropped to the lowest levels since 1984. In face of the steep collapse of the nation's energy supplies, the only certainty around the ongoing energy price shock is that it's likely to get worse in the coming months as demand explodes all over the country. Some households may be facing an over 60% spike in their utility bills before the end of the year, while businesses are already doing everything they can to cut costs to be able to survive another dark winter. The situation is being described as frightening and shocking by the people who work in the energy industry, and what will happen next is going to send shivers up the spine of millions of Americans. That's what we're going to expose today. But before moving on, please support us with a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Some people may not realize yet that heating their homes this winter will be extremely expensive, especially since gasoline prices had been falling in recent months. In a lot of people's minds, gasoline and home energy are the same, explained Mark Wolf, Nieda's executive director. The surprise here is that the prices for heating fuels are gonna be popping, he warned. The massive energy price surge that's now unfolding in America is directly linked to Europe's energy crisis. Over the past few months, the U.S. government sent record liquefied natural gas exports to Europe to help it boost supplies before winter. But as it tried to mitigate energy supply shortages on the other side of the ocean, our country was left with perilously low stockpiles to supply the national demand during the colder months. According to the latest data from the Energy Information Administration, the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve has declined to its lowest level in 38 years. The nation's emergency crude stockpile dropped to 434.05 million barrels. It hasn't been that low since early November 1984, when the National Strategic Reserve hovered at around 436 million barrels, the organization noted. Since the conflict between Russia and Ukraine broke out, the White House introduced the 1 million barrels a day oil release plan using the country's emergency reserves. Bloomberg researchers reported that the federal government had planned to restock the national energy reserve after the price of crude oil fell below $80 per barrel. But market experts suggest that oil prices will remain well above that margin for the rest of the year. In short, this means that the administration's strategy is poised to backfire, as noted by the industry expert Phil Flynn. The Biden administration admitting that they have to refill the reserve is an admission that their policy of using the strategic petroleum reserve for political purposes will backfire. The administration is now acknowledging that they have to be prepared for a winter price spike, and that means that surging inflation may not be over at the gas tank or when you pay your heating bills, he said. That is to say, not only has the U.S. failed in providing effective help for its allies, but it's also left its population vulnerable to power shortages and brutal price increases at a time they need a reliable supply of energy the most. At this point, even Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is alerting us of price shocks that will chill Americans to the core this winter when they see their utility bills or pump gasoline. This winter, the European Union will cease, for the most part, buying Russian oil, and in addition, they will ban the provision of services that enable Russia to ship oil by tanker. That could cause a spike in oil prices, Yellen warned. With prices of oil and natural gas facing a steady rise, U.S. consumers are going to be economically eviscerated by the soaring costs and stuck with fewer energy supply alternatives. 
Oil makes up about half the price of a gallon of gasoline, and diesel fuel for vehicles like trucks and heating oil for homes are distilled from oil. Meanwhile, around 50% of all U.S. homes use natural gas to heat homes and water. On top of that, natural gas also is used to generate electricity, which is why electricity prices shot up 15.8% in August. Due to the struggle to fill our natural gas inventory before winter, natural gas prices have spiked to a 14-year high, and the elevated costs have prompted many people to switch to burning oil or burning coal for electricity. But the rush to hoard these alternative supplies was short-lived because their reserves have been almost entirely depleted last month. If current trends continue, Americans should get ready to pay 17.2% more on energy this month, on top of the increases recorded in previous months, according to estimates released by the National Energy Assistance Directors Association. Home heating is expected to reach a staggering $1,202, the highest price in more than a decade. To make things worse, the National Grid said last week it'll increase electricity rates by 64% starting November the 1st and for the next six months. That's going to have a devastating impact on the finances of low-income families. Bank of America analysts wrote in a new note to clients that nationwide, a sizable share of Americans could come under pressure to make cuts in their other spending in order to keep the lights on. Similarly, Neatus Mark Wolf pointed out, the rise in home energy costs this winter will put millions of lower income families at risk of falling behind on their energy bills and having no choice but to make difficult decisions between paying for food, for medicine, and for rent. The organization announced last week that the cost of utility services will shoot up to $3,803 reflecting high prices for natural gas, heating oil, and propane, and this summer's heat waves. Right now, more than 20 million families, or about one of six American families, are already behind on their electricity bills and at risk of facing utility shutoffs. The outlook is even more chaotic in Europe, where authorities are sounding the alarm about spiraling electricity costs. A couple of weeks ago, the Prime Minister of France, Elisabeth Bourne, said that Western populations should expect natural gas prices to rise 500% over 2021 prices and electricity to rise 1,000% over 2021 prices by early 2023. People in France, the rest of Europe, and the United States are seeing utility bills that are about 10 times higher because utilities use natural gas to generate electricity. The utilities are passing along the increased price they must pay for the natural gas, and it is forcing people to choose whether they eat or have lights on, born stressed. It is now widely predicted that millions of people unable to keep up with the rising costs could literally freeze to death in their own homes because prices are so high. At the same time, countless businesses out there are losing hope that they will be able to survive another dark winter because price caps do not apply to them. Many of them don't know how much more they can cut back. We can't turn off the lights and make our gas sit in the dark, said Richard Kovacs, business development manager for the burger chain Zing Burger. He revealed that his restaurants already run the grills no more than necessary and use movement detectors to turn off lights in spaces that aren't being used. But still, he's seeing a 750% increase in electricity bills since the beginning of the year. Thousands of winter fruit and vegetable growers who are key to the country's food supply are either shuttering greenhouses or absorbing severe financial losses in an attempt to get by. 
Bosch Growers, a company that grows green peppers and blackberries, has put up extra insulation, idled greenhouses, and experimented with lower temperatures. The result? Smaller yields, blackberries taking longer to ripen, and potentially operating in the red to maintain customer relationships even at lower volumes. We want to stay on the market, not to ruin the reputation we've developed over the years, the owner said, adding that we are in survival mode. Even big names such as J.P. Morgan are girding for a historic energy crisis. The bank's offices have carried out power outage simulations in recent weeks to prep for energy shortages, Reuters have reported. Deutsche Bank also told the outlet that it turned off hot water in bathrooms and changed office temperatures to cut down on energy use. And Wall Street Stock Exchange said it has backup generators ready in case blackouts hit. A new report published by the Institute for Energy Research highlighted that the entire nation will scramble with extraordinary challenges in its final quarter, as utilities will need to use more expensive natural gas to generate electricity due to less available coal and nuclear capacity and less hydroelectric generation caused by a drought in the western states. If there is a shock to the United States energy system from a late-season hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, a colder than normal winter, or an ice storm in key producing areas, natural gas and electricity prices may escalate even higher, causing more Americans to have trouble paying their energy bills and staying safe this winter," it continued. On the same note, energy market expert Dr. Paul Dean described the situation as frightening and shocking, emphasizing that at the end of the day, consumers will have to bear the brunt of this crisis on their own. The prices that we're seeing for gas at the moment, the increases in the last two weeks are frightening. They're really shocking. So the outlook is not good for supply companies because when you generate most of your electricity from a fuel that costs a huge price, unfortunately, we as consumers have to pay for that. In several states, requests for help have been ticking up even before the cold weather sets in. At this time last year, Energy Services Incorporated in Wisconsin was getting a record 300 calls a day to its customer care center. Now the nonprofit group, the main LIHEAP administrator in the state, is fielding more than 1,000 calls a day. The need hasn't gone away, is accelerating at such a rapid pace, said Timothy Brewer, Energy Services Executive Director. Keeping the heat and power on, which is a basic necessity, has become an unaffordable luxury for millions of Americans, most vulnerable at-risk households. Exposing the risks for the most vulnerable in society, the organization said the share of income spent by poor families in America on their energy bills would more than double in the coming months, from 23% in 2020 to 47% this year. This nightmarish energy crisis is gaining proportions that would be completely unimaginable just a few months ago. Now, more than ever, it is time to stock up on batteries, candles, solar-powered devices, and non-perishables, because the threat of blackouts and extended energy supply shortages are about to become our new reality. We're going to experience some exceedingly painful months and many other unpleasant surprises may be headed our way this winter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we look forward to your comments under this video.